Well, and the other thing is, even if Ohio State does start paying these guys, other schools are still going to pay more. Like that doesn't mean you're going to get everybody you want. It just means that the cost will go up for the other school that ends up with that player. And so you're still going to have to find the guys that want to bet on themselves because they they still probably have to take less money to come to Ohio State, knowing that if they end up starting, the Lamborghini will be there. The you know the endorsements will be there, but a lot of these guys don't have time to bet on themselves. Like they've got, if, if they have an opportunity to help their family and, and they're, you're trying to keep the lights on. I mean, that's, that's what they're going to do and they should do that. Yeah. It is tough enough to recruit against the sec and Notre Dame and USC coming into the league and all these various institutions just as things were. And then you add in the uphill climb of trying to match a million dollars a year or whatever the figure is for that particular recruit when you've got 250 and you're trying to sell them on making up three quarters of that. Like you say, to, to any one of us and just about everybody watching, we have typically, I'm guessing, 99% of the time taken the next job based on making more money not based on making less money with the potential that in three years you may make more money, especially when how many of these players make it to the NFL? I know that they all have it in their head that they're going to make it to the NFL, but if somebody gets a hold of them and says, you know what, take the million over the 250 because I believe in you, but if it doesn't go well, you don't make the NFL, hey, you just pocketed a million dollars versus 250 and uh, that – uh set you off in life a lot in a lot better place whoo yeah that's not a it's not a um so <laughs> the power brokers need to be getting together and figuring things out that's that's all well, yeah and, and i go on my rant every week about this that you know if people say oh the damned ncaa doesn't have the rules again it's the conference commissioners the university presidents and the athletic directors who just can't come to a consensus on what the rules should be and, um, you know, this is what's become sad is that, you know, we come on here to talk about football and football players. And now it's like we're talking about an NFL team with salary cap and, you know, all this other dumb stuff. And, and you know, that it, it, it kind of gives me a headache in the front of my head to where I really don't care. And that's that's just where I'm at. And I see a lot of apathy out there from the fan base, too, that. Oh, this is what it's devolved to. It's all about money and it's no longer about football. So I don't know. I guess we come to talk about football. We should talk about football. And, and you know, there's going to be a game in a week or so. And, you know, and have they changed the, the way this sport's perceived and the way that it's all conducted? Yes. But, you know, I guess however you procure your players, you still got to develop them and go win football games. So, you know, it's kind of where we're at.